Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Rest Talk straight from Japan and today we're going to do a video review of Froline Ribaltec Ayanami Rei or Rei Ayanami from the Neon Genesis Evangelion series. Uh, this is from the early 2008 Ribaltec line. Now let me show you the box real quick. There she is, Ayanami Rei. Froline. I don't know how to speak German so I think that's right. Froline Ribaltec. So let me show you a little bit about the Rebel Tech joints. As you can see, that's like the joint system over here. But the big thing is a, the ball joint, the Rebel Tech that is that where they're well known for. Kind of like the Figmas. I want to, as you can see, is pretty poseable. Not as poseable as a lot of the male figures. And there she is with her rival Oscar Langley, which is a pain in the rear. It does come up with the Lance of Longinus, say Rung, Runginus, <laughs> Lance of Longinus, four or two extra pairs of hands and the stamp. So let me show you real quick too, the pairs of hands real quick. So those are the hands. Uh, I got the lens along in this. This is where she's packaged in a nice little black box. All right, lens along in this pretty darn huge. Uh, as you remember from one of the later episodes, she it was used to actually pierce one of the angels. And I just want to show you a nice deep red color. Uh, not cherry red, but a darker color. Darker, not quite blood red, but hey, you get the point. As far as articulation, this is pretty good articulation and I love the coloring on this. She, from the light blue, sky blue on her palms, to the navy blue on her arms, to the blue on the head, and these little thing with bobbers, I don't know what they're called, blood red eyes that were creepy in the show, blue, uh, what do you call it, not eyeliner, but eyebrows, and for articulation, her neck joint is awesome. She's got that Rebel Tech joint, I don't know if you can tell from here. So yeah, good range of articulation. As you can see the little gap in between the shoulders, that's what I was talking about, really loose. Good coloring, you got green, orange, bright red, orange, red, white of course, and of course the three shades of blue. I don't know what the color, notice the difference between sky blue and whatever blue it is, sci-fi blue, whatever. Navy blue. Okay, the shoulder joint does go 360, doesn't go in and out. Single jointed elbow, which is kind of disappointing. It has a little bracelet, which I really dig. And of course, the rival take joint on her wrist, so allows her to put her in very good poses. Has an ab crunch, and that's about it. Does swivel, so that's good. It has a weird Star Trek joint that I don't like for it, but you can hear it ratchet on the hip. Single knee joint, not a big fan of that. No joint on rival take joint on this and the little boot imprint so you can get them with pretty good poses and there you go I like that that's a good pose for her now it's size comparison time let me put her with her rival over here Makinami illustrious and one thing I wanted to point out is that her feet are definitely bigger so it's easier to pose and I, I was hoping I didn't have to do that now yeah, because even with her bigger feet, he's a, not that easy to pose. Dang it. <laughs> I should have kept her like that. There we go. Yeah, even though she looks like, uh, what do you call those people? I forget. Oh, well. No, no worries. No worries. All right, so let's go ahead and show you with Makinami Illustrious. If you have to choose between one and the price was no option, the Rebel Tech Fro line line is a little cheaper but I would go with Makinami Illustrious any day because she does more poseable and has more fits and more options and everything and for size comparison she is a little slightly taller there she is with she spawn right here she is about six inches tall she's slightly shorter than she spawn so I give about five and three quarters or something like that so there you are in three different sizes all right youtubers if I to rate her I give her a seven out of ten that's all I got and I'll catch you all next time